Hello and welcome back to another episode of Phoenix Point. My name is Saiken and today we're continuing the blind playthrough of Legendary Difficulty where I'm trying to beat the game on the highest difficulty and I found out <coughs> that these antediluvian runes are actually quite good. The reason why I'm saying this is I've seen a bit of the equipment that you can craft with it and I really, really, really want to get those and I think this antediluvian rune in particular is an oracalco mine and if i'm not mistaken we have this massive melee weapon here super good and that sort of looks like a new resource so maybe maybe that is oracalco <coughs> if it would be that would be awesome bringing our a team nothing but the best still need to level up Inappropriate Murphy and JP Poorly. Um, to remind ourselves, we had modified them the last time. I realized by modifying them, I closed off the option to kind of attach um, this mid mid gadget, the arms, uh, to the torso. I think it doesn't work with the cyber torso and vice versa. Um, I can't. Um, gene splice manipulate the head anymore so I still want to go for the dual class of priest plus technician but I might need to compromise on a couple of items here as you can see stamina and so on is relatively low so it might be the last mission before we fly back but I've also seen that uh, the um, Pandorans are attacking another mine of ours I'll show you that afterwards and we are landing. Oh, I love the soundtrack here. So good. And the artwork is also prime. I really like the runes. Uh, they have done a fantastic job implementing them. I wish the rest of the maps would look as good as they do. Getting frenzy onto everyone, and I think we might want to take this side here with the cover and so on. Why does this already indicate that we do have a possible target? Oh, the golem is already up there. Oh, well. We're going to attack uh, the golem in the first round. Hmm. I'm thinking I don't want to push in too deep because <clears throat> I know that that is typically going to create a reaction. of seeing that golem being able to hit it I think we're just putting our snipers in the best possible position oh we don't have enough action points left over Strength moves up over here. Just putting a barrier there. Yeah, I don't want to go too far to that other side. can't get up either. I think we, we want to keep our team nicely clustered together. Problem is I'm not seeing that many options to actually take shots. Half cover here. Okay. 
JP moves up, and I think for the first few turns, let's just make sure that we're fully healed. Euler could use some healing as well, but we're going to do that the next turn. Murphy slowly but surely moves into cover. Here. Yeah, just taking the overwatch really. Alright, end of turn. Good, nothing happened. Is anyone else injured? I think the answer is no. Which then brings me to that. And... Turret deployment. Followed up by Euler. Who's taking good position here. Whilst Pauli goes back. I want Murphy at the front line, but not too vulnerable. Uh, I'm not sure if we can mind control these uh, things, but it would be great if we could. Well, look at that. So, do we have a melee weapon? Yes, we do. Jump uh, to him and just strike him down. And we do have efficient packer. Yes, we do. Or whatever the ability is called. Jumps up. Finds out that uh, we have just hit the hornet's nest so before we do something before we do something drinks actually moves up Hence over actions, because now it's on. That's one. Moving up, the butcher uses his will points. To regain actions. <laughs> and we cleared them out like it's no man's business. Good job. I really like how that uh, worked out. No, uh, no hesitation, no fumbling around. Just straight up killing them. Getting the shield into this direction. Grell begins to overwatch just in case someone's coming from here. Overwatching in this direction. Again, just in case someone is coming from there.
All right, end of turn. Ancient Guardian has not moved, and that is good. Appreciate it. question is where are the positions to hit him apparently from up here yeah that sort of a hit let's see did we hit it oh no that's a crystal never mind I tell you what, we're taking the high ground here, and we're doing it the next turn. We are taking the high ground up here. We know that we've cleared out all of the enemies, so that's good. Bringing all of our snipers up there. For good measure. Inappropriate Murphy. Takes a safe position a little bit further to the front. Polly would help the snipers. We have the turret in a flanking position. It's actually well posi uh, well positioned, all things considered. Shattered Realm moves into a cover. And Dranks also moves forward. Like I said, I don't want to trigger a lot. At the moment, it's all about just getting stuff done, getting people into position, and getting ready. End of turn. Oh, we got company. Luckily, we got our shield. Oh, yeah. Okay, we're fighting against four this time. So, we are fighting against four. We need to take a short break, but we're back for good. Um, first things first, I think we... to jump down but I would like to get rapid clearance moving in with the butcher owns that is two hits two and a kill drinks moves up Hands over more actions.
Again, moving up. One. Two. enough will points to charge over and onslaught would cost us just too much I am pretty confident though that with this here we would hit both of them yep and shattered realm Moves up as well. We're going in quite deep this time. Gotta be careful not to overcommit here. Overwatching. Um, so. What are we going to do with Pauly? I think just having him down here in case someone or something is showing up would be helpful. We're not um, triggering the Cyclops yet. Dilly takes a shot. But th those guys are quite well hidden. So let's be careful. Euler just takes a different angle. And I have to wonder... Drell isn't the perfect sniper in the sense that she has problems hitting from afar and she's our only armor breaking <coughs> champion. So let's put her a bit more to the front line. She's really just midfield instead of um, pure back line. But we've nicely <clears throat> use our war cry uh, how about we're moving up with shattered realm and then take a good jump oh ooh, two additional enemies I quite honestly wasn't expecting that. Alright, dashing, because we need to stay in range to hand over the will uh, willpower. That would be one. And I think we can move up. Alright, confirming to regain uh, points. This rapid clearance is just mad. So good. Don't even need the support. Okay, we still have the golem. Uh, I would say we're slightly moving back.
And for me that whole situation almost looks like we need to reset our willpower. So we've got full willpower here, full willpower here, full willpower here, full willpower here, and almost full willpower here. Still trying to find good angles. Um, okay, end of turn. Shattered Realm has full willpower. Moving closer to the others, I want to make sure that we can frenzy everyone as and when necessary. Moves over here. Into full cover, that is. stays close to his body at the moment he's sort of relegated to an onslaught battery but he does that super well and as long as we're using uh, the melee weapons I don't see a reason why we shouldn't continue doing that it's just so much damage good recover here doing another recovery here I think everybody else does have enough will points cool good end of turn I think we can start the Cyclops Would be helpful to be a bit closer to them. Although we could also just stand here and pepper them with uh, sniper rifles. Dilly. Starts with a shot. Wow, not a single hit. Okay, that on the other hand was a very solid hit. I like it. up takes a shot moves back cool we already disabled the leg and the acid damage might turn out to be quite sizable for him. Hmm. Can't really hit him from here. Maybe we'll get Grell over here, but that's only half cover, I don't like it.
Yeah, that guy will come a bit closer. No worries for now. Uh, Polly. Could actually spend some points in the tur into the turret. Yeah, that's 30 damage. I mean, every little bit of damage counts, eh? Good. End of turn. Something has happened. I'm just not sure what exactly it was. We're hitting... We're hitting that thing very well. Drangs moves up. So since acid damage happens every round, let me just suggest the following. We'll hand over more actions uh, to you. And we're ramping up the acid damage. Ian goes back. Nice little shield here. Partially in cover. I like that. Ooh, that was substantial damage. Uh, yeah. Let's continue that. Disabled another leg. Yeah, and I think we're good. Wait, 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 wait. Alright. Three oricalcum shielding. What exactly does that mean? And why are we being lasered? I don't like what I'm seeing, specifically those th fourth one. Oh boy. Okay, so the golem is currently not doing much, which means we could actually fight these guys here, right? Right.
That's a hit. Remote control. Into yet another hit. Uh, I don't want to stay here. So really we're just going to take one shot and then are moving out of line of sight. Fighting four or five of them. Uh, boom blast. Yes, please. And that's a very solid hit. I like it. Continuing with more of it. Well, use that. Hmm. Free line of sight. over more actions I think you were in a better position to be honest to hit them a lot of armor reduced on all fronts Moves back into cover. And I think Jarenx himself just stays here for now. enough time to move down okay yeah we do these shields are down to almost no armor this guy is now a disabled torso <clears throat> and the stupid shields are gone Moving out of line of sight. We're moving a bit closer. Next turn I want to adrenaline rush. Thank <laughs> you. 
recording from that angle just in case they are moving around and I think we've done a decent job really end of turn Oh wow, 150 damage. That turret had like 40 armor. Okay, alright, okay. Well, I tell you what, thankfully we do have enough willpower. Because this is going to be fun. Really big fat explosion. Hitting all of them. And I think... Really one of the best options here is... Oh, we can't shift over. That's unfortunate. Let's regain. Remote controlling the turret. <clears throat> which also is a good source of shredding. Continuing to even further remote control. Nice. We got them down. Down on their knees. while killing some of them now. There's the kill for Euler. Billy moves out. Solid hit, solid kill. Okay, Adrenaline Rush. Let's see how well this is going down. She's inaccurate when she's Adrenaline Rushing, which is a shame. closer and starting to poison as it poison this guy all right end of turn is a formidable tank. I really like what I'm seeing and apparently they thought so as well because they just killed it. Oh, 
Polly, what's up? Tries to get revenge for his turret. Minimum damage, it feels like almost no damage. Willpower used, and let's blast him down. Ian moves up, kills one. Back. Dranks is in a good position. It's once. He put up a clone. Could also hand over to Dilly. Dilly, on the other hand, um, uses quick aim. This guy seems to take no damage at the moment. Why is the damage so low? It's only 16 armor. Okay, something is wrong. shielding is doing but it appears as if it would reduce the damage massively like the guy took almost no damage whatsoever yeah we're just going to put shield up and wait for his counter attack Hitting him, but somehow it's just not taking a lot of damage. Minus four oracalcum shielding. Maybe he just has a lot of charges. I don't know how it works, but just taking a wild guess here. From the looks of it. From the looks of it, it seems to have charges. So we're recovering. Everybody is recovering, even drinks. Recover, recover, we are recovered, we 
recover. Everybody else is recovered. Okay, cool. Now. Starting to heal our leg. And starting to heal us. Okay, so it's only <coughs> the boss left, so might as well just... Use our typical tactic, which is shoot, 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 and stay really far away. At the moment he's just taking damage and is not coming any closer. Look, I don't mind that. It's just a bit weird. Moving into a good position, by the way, I just noticed... Press this guy. Let's bully him until he's down. Good, that was rather anticlimactic, but I mean, it was a good mission. 600, got a lot of skill points. Everybody here got skill points and there I wish these guys here would get a bit more evenly sh shared experience like if it is 600 XP right they should get 300 each because the others are at maximum experience. I am concerned that we're uh, reaching the limit of our uh, stamina but since the Pandorans are attacking our other mine we need to go there as well and prevent that from happening don't think that we have enough time to just fly back into base and rest would be cool if we had but 24 hours are rather not that much Randolph's grandfather first spoke of an ancient civilization living on Earth. Back then, the Phoenix Institute was open to the idea. During my days, things have changed considerably. Looking back now, I'm convinced it wasn't by chance. Ori Halcom. Plato claimed it to be the gold of Atlantis. Others claimed that it was a golden bronze alloy used by the Romans. It seems they were wrong. The material is impossible to replicate or even analyze. The only thing we know for certain is that it's a metal alloy with organic components, and the ancients used it in their fight against a terrifying enemy. Tests show the material can affect mutated cells. We can use it with the construction of superior weapons to fight the Pandorans with. Not the most scientific approach, but after my spell in a new Jericho research center, I've learned to be flexible. A word of warning. By discovering this site, the Phoenix Project has become an even bigger target. Both the Pandorans and the rest of humanity will want this ancient technology for themselves. Keep that in mind as we go forward. All right. Okay. Yes, look at that, Aurichalcum. Very nice, very nice, very nice, very nice. 
and unfortunately we're being attacked here in 22 hours Team in Manticore 4 needs to rest, okay, that's fine. We are moving over here. Oh, look at that, we can even deploy a guardian. Research complete. Yeah, but that's for a later day. We wanted to go back and get ready with this team to in infiltrate the hive. Speaking about which, that is going to be our next mission. We're going to infiltrate the hive and it is Skrilla Destruction plus Escort Elimination. Uh, the most difficult mission. Uh, that I've played so far, the most difficult type of mission that I've played so far. And we're looking at massive reputational gains out of this. Already got very supportive, uh, a very supportive relationship with everyone. But yeah, we're going to do that next. Afterwards, um, we will defend in 18 hours. That's fine. Uh, we're refreshing two of our teams. The one uh, will go down and actually do the Pandorian Lair. Whilst our Prime team defends it. And how's the Prime team looking, by the way? Yeah, not good. I mean, we're going to hit zero stamina this time, which means we really need to rest. So the guys would then potentially just fly back, rest. Matter of fact, from here, potentially fly up here because it's a shorter distance rest. And uh, that would be the refinery here would be our next big target. And then we do have two targets up here. So we have plenty to do with the prime team. And we're now getting resources a few of each of them which is good i like that uh, because these would be our i think potentially end game weapons I'm really excited about uh, getting that done for the prime team and luckily nothing happens in africa so far the next base that i would want to open is up here phoenix point forward um, we might trade for it and then really build a few facilities just for recovery so that we can recover really really fast this seems to be a good compromise between uh, there and there and there so we have the eastern part of the world under control and the other one could either be phoenix point which literally is a, a good uh, move a bit far away from england and so on but I think these two bases would do just fine and we can uh, yeah, we can move out from there anyways guys if you want to uh, move out somewhere move to the like button click it uh, and tell it that it needs to be erected because that's the only way of how this episode will find any traction thank you and have a good one bye bye